Okay, in this video I'm going to start building. I have no idea what I'm going to build yet. And I'm just going to uh, run with it and see what we get. Come over here where I've got some space. And I'll drop a box down as usual. First thing I want to do is center it to the grid. So I'll do 48 and 26. Then I will resize it. I'll just use tens for now. And I don't know what I'm going to make, so I'm just going to wing it. And hopefully along the way, we'll use some techniques that you'll be able to learn from. Okay, so we're going to do a build something like this. And, hmm, let's do this too. Let's pull one out this way. So the entrance is probably going to be right here. And then we're going to have another area over here. I'm thinking maybe I could do this. Take and get one of these, cut it in half, rotate it so that it fits this right here. And then we have an angle. Let's move this over a little bit. I'm going to grab the whole thing and just move it over and make sure I'm snapping it all to the grid. And you'll see that when I do that, everything is still uniform. Let's just grab another one of these, I guess, and do this. Make sure it looks good. Okay, let's grab one of these and make a wall. I'm going to set it at 4. That might be too short, but we'll see. I'm just going to move it out. And what I want to do is inset this. So I'm going to make two of them. I'm going to drag this one in like this. And then I'm going to delete this one. Then I'm going to move this up so that it's not into the prim below it. And the reason for doing that is because you don't want this to be inset at all so that you, you have the representation of the true size of the prim. And that could come back to haunt you later if you're putting prims into other prims. The actual size is bigger than what you're seeing and it might throw you off or cause errors in your build. So we're going to move this over here. And I need to get in a little bit closer. That is the one downside to not using subunits is that you have to frequently pull your camera in a lot more than you would if you were using subunits. Okay, we'll do this. We'll put another one here. Now these are just pre preliminary walls. We might go back and add things to them later like windows and whatnot. go. One thing I like to do is build at high noon. So if you hit control shift Y, that'll put you at noon or midday. And that way the sun is directly up in the sky. And you do have an easier building environment that way. At least for me, that's what I like. One thing I forgot to do was inset this. So let's get the uh, Y of this and then delete this one. And then we'll just paste the Y in here. Um, then we'll adjust the ends here. Now I'm running into a situation where I have to get in a little bit closer. There we go. I'll 
let's do this. Let's pull this one out. And we'll reduce the size probably 4.5. And we'll grab one of these. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's grab this one because it's already at the designated uh, direction we want it to be. Now we should be able to just eyeball this and get it close. But one more. There we go, I think. I think that's right. Put this over here. And we need to move this in. just eyeballing it. After a while you can kind of look at something and see if it's aligned or not and it looks right. So that's good. Now the difficult part is doing this angle here. It's very difficult to do so I don't know whether I'm going to attempt that or not. Um, let me think on it here. To be able to do this, you need to create your prim. Let's copy this one. Rotate it. You create your prim, and then you have to rotate it 45 degrees, right? To be able to get it to match. But then you have to size it as well. So I'm going to center it to this particular prim first by copying the position pasting here. And then I'm going to size it next to get it the right size. So let's go. Oh, I don't really need this size. I'll go back to 10, 13, 14, 14.25 14 maybe. That's too much. 175. Let's turn it transparent so we can see. It's close. One five. That is close. Um, one two five. No. Uh, one three three five three seven five. I think that might be it. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, one four four two five. There we go. Okay, so that should be it. But we want to taper this on one side so that it matches this angle here, which can be kind of difficult. Let's see if we can do it. Go in here, make sure we get the right taper. So we have to rotate this. What we'll do is we'll turn it 90 so that it's, it's not at an angle. Then we can rotate it. And then we'll pull it back around like that and then we'll here's the hard part moving it in so that it's flush with this now you could use the uh, local which will give us the angle we need to move it in and it's going to snap a lot more coarse so you have to be very careful with it you'll probably have to manually adjust this so I'm going to adjust this in like this and actually I didn't really need to adjust it to this corner I needed to adjust it to this corner um, so really I need to move this out 
So this is going to be not in line with the grid. It's just going to be freeform. And the angle needs to come out a little bit. So let's try. Seven five. Hmm. Let's reduce the size. Thirteen. Okay, so we'll do 13.4. It's close. 325. Then we have to adjust the thickness on the back side and put that in line. And actually, the angle is not working when you change the uh, thing, so you have to adjust that. It's very finicky. Getting closer. As you can see, it's not perfect. But it doesn't matter if this goes into this corner because it's going to be inset anyway. And in the grand scheme of things, it's fine. So let's take one of these and just for the sake of argument, pull it over here, see if it's going to match up where we put it. Let me turn local off. Looks pretty darn good to me. That was kind of painless, really. And you can see it's not perfect. Let's turn these, uh, or one of these transparent, or both, and you'll be able to see where they overlap. It's very, very minute. I'm happy with that. Here you can see. Now you could try to adjust the angle more, but I think that's good. Okay, so now that we have that, we can copy it and put it on the other side. So the best way to do that would be to grab this, link it to this, Control L, delete this one, shift drag and what we want to do since it's doing the center it should be okay let's try it first and see yeah because we're linked to this we have this discrepancy so what we want to do is tell it to look at the root only and it should snap perfectly because if you tell it not to use the root prim, it's taking both of these into account. There we go. And then all we have to do is pull this over and it should match. That's how hairy it can be doing these angles. And notice that this wall I didn't bring in, so I need to do that. And then we need to adjust this. Let's look at the other side. Looks like this one is the one that comes out, so I need to adjust the back one in. Okay, so 
so far we have the walls. Um, I was thinking about making this a patio exit. Let's just copy one of these. Notice that I'm copying prims that are in line with the uh, direction that I need, always. Sometimes I have to rotate, but most of the time I don't. Okay, now that we have that, let's make an entrance. And in fact, let's do this. Instead of this being a patio, let's re, uh, rotate this so we can work with it from the other side. And let's make sure that we're still in line with the grid, and we are. As long as you're seeing 0, 25, 50, and 75, which is based on this, then you're good. Okay, I want to make an arch here. To do that, I need to figure out what my center piece is going to be. It needs to be square, so right now we're at, at 3.45, so I'll do, uh, what is 3.45 times 2? I'm lazy. 6.9, so we'll go 6.9 by 6.9. And then we're going to cut a hole in it of about 75. And we want it to be an arch, so we're going to use a circle cut. Then we're going to cut it 375 and, or no, 325, I believe. Here, let me raise it a little bit. I'm a little rusty because I haven't built in probably a year. Um, yeah, 375. That gives you a quarter right there. We want 875. Then we can rotate it and drop it down. Now, we want it to be smaller than this, so let's go half of that. So I was right the first time. Let's get the middle of this, which is this here in height. That should be in line with either side, and it is. Okay, so this is going to be the center where the arch is, we need one of these that we're going to bring over and size accordingly. We need to bring this down. Let me look here. I'll bring it up to where it's flush and then I'm going to move it over. Then I need to size this in. Now, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have to adjust the hole to be in line with this prim. And we'll do that here in a second. Then I'll just pull these in, which I forgot to do on this side before copying. Move this around. Fine-tuning the hole so it matches the uh, posts here. Let me move this. Okay, now we're running into a situation where it's not going to match. Let's look at this size. Let's go, instead of 3.45, let's go 3.5. This will fix our problem. Actually, I need 3.45 here on the height. Oh, no, it didn't fix our problem. Okay, let's go back. And for this, we'll use subunits. Actually, wait a minute. This is our problem right here. Or one of these is. 
this one. This lets us snap. Then we can adjust this up. We still have the height problem. So what I'll do is I'll copy, or actually I'll adjust this one to 4.0 so that I can get it to snap on the end here. Then I'll pull it out. And then I still have an, a height issue here. Let me look at this. It is sitting right there. So what's the height of this one? 725. This one is 725. Is that 625? 613. That's not good. All right, let's do this. Let's see if we can, let's change this to 7 even. And this one to 7 even. Eliminate the uh, 25 on this. There we have a good snap. Okay, now let's look at the bottom here. That should work. Okay, now we need to adjust our arch. We need to look at this lip here. Right like that. We need a good angle on it so we can see it. And then we're going to adjust it out a little bit more. Actually, I just picked the wrong thing there. 75.25.753. It's almost there, 325. There we go. Let's look at it from the top. Looks good to me. Actually, it, dil it still does have a lip. All right. Uh, three, 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 five. You can see here that we have a slight gap. It's not perfect. And it's because this height again, let's set it for zero and then adjust it. And it's still not going to match up, or is it? No, it's not. See, let's try subunits. And you see that you still have a slight gap there. In this case, Worst case scenario, um, I'm going to just adjust it manually until that gap disappears. The flicker is going to be so small if it's overlapping that you're not going to see it in the grand scheme of things. So what's our height here? 619. It's the same as it was. All right, let's do this. We'll just leave it like it was. Copy this. Paste this, set this one at 613, and I'm happy with that. Let it go. Okay. We need to grab one of these. Resize. That should be it. Now we have the walls. I'm trying to think how else I want to do this. All right, let's grab one of these 
and resize it. We're at what nine and a half. So nine and a half will go four or three. Let's go two two dot two. Let me get in here a little closer. Two dot two five is what we'll do. And then we're going to create a window hole here. And we're going to size this out. Then we're going to adjust this up. Give it about 0.6. Drop that down. And we want to make this look like the wall isn't so thick. So what we'll do is do a frame inside and we'll just do this. We'll bring this down to about two and then we'll pull it in to about two. Shift drag that up and get an angle so we can see what we're doing here. That looks good. And then we'll do the same for the sides. I'll do is get it down to a certain size, bring it down and over, pull that over, so this is going to be our window frame and then for a window, I'll just shift copy one of these. I'll see what the center of this is by selecting these two, and then I can see that the center of Z is 2752.475. So I just move this to that. Got to get in a little bit closer. There we go. Then I just size it to the size I need for the window. I think it's this one. Yes, two, and I'm going to pull this in a little bit. And this needs to come down. That's good enough. Then I'll set this to a width of 0.1, so it's inset on both sides. And then I can add some transparency so it looks at, like a window at least. Maybe change this to blank. There we go. And then what we do is we put a box around this. Careful not to select anything else. And then we can shift drag and copy it and just put one over here. Since we already know that it's going to be in the center, or it should be, let me look. It's at 41.25, so let's do that. Or actually, no, I'm sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. Get the center of this. <laughs> Boy, um, 22.75, so that's what we need. And we're almost there. There we go. So now we just need the height, which is going to be four or twenty seven fifty two four seventy five. Now I could have just copied the whole wall. It would have saved me a little bit of time. I can delete this one and still copy these two, which should be the same size. They should fall right into place. I should have copied the other ones too. Let's do that. Should have just copied the whole thing. But I didn't. There we go. Everything lines up. It's all good. So now we have windows. 
then if we want we can add subdivisions by just using this and make these a little bit smaller like um, 0.1 and we'll inset these a little bit 0.15 maybe and what I'll do is get the center which is 25 4125 put this right there and then actually you know what let's do this let's shift copy we'll grab these two and not care whether they're centered on this side or not and then we can do the same thing on the other side which this again is 22 dot 75. So just drag that over to 2275. Need to get in a little closer to do that. There we go. Okay, let's say that a roof is on both sides here. Let's grab these, pull them up. and get an angle so we can see whether it's actually where it's supposed to be. Now the problem with grabbing two prim, uh, two prims that are so far apart is that your adjuster is going to be over there, which makes it kind of difficult, but not too bad. Okay, so then we're going to make these flat roofed um, tapers. So I'm going to go up to two and a half. Ah, Got to get closer. Okay. And then what I'll do is inset, or not inset, but taper both. But I, I don't want it to be one. I want it to be something like two five. I'm hitting top shear. Taper is what I want. 0.25. There we go. And then what I'll do is drag this over to be in line with that. That one's not right. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And then what I'll do is maybe, do I want that to be that tall? Yes, because I think I'll put a different one in the center. Let's see what it looks like. Put this one in the center. Need to align it with this here. Pull it up to the front. Notice I have a little bit of overlap there. There we go. Let's check the other side. I do want overlap on some of my roofs, but not this one. Let's see what it looks like without one of the tapers. Hmm. I think that looks a little better, maybe. And then what we can do is make the rest of it flat. And to do that easily, we can just select the correct prims. We'll do an unlink on this with Control shift l since we don't need those linked anymore. Then we'll just use these for our roof. And we'll pull them up so that they match this top here. Because they're so far away, I'm getting very rough adjustments. So I think I'm going to have to adjust them individually. Let me 
to get up here so I can see. There we go. Now that I have the height, I'll just copy it and paste it into the other ones. That one to that one. I'm using control C to copy and control V to paste. And we need to adjust this. Let me look and see if it's going to show up in here. In here you don't really notice, so it doesn't matter. But if you're looking at it from the outside, it does matter. So let's adjust this. Sometimes it can be tricky to get your camera in the right position to get where you want to be for adjustment. Let me move this one again. There we go. And I think I need to pull it back here. There we go. Now what we can do, I just had an idea. We'll take this and cut it at 90, or not cut it, hole at 90. Actually, we want it to be in line with this here. So what we'll do is we'll adjust the hole a little bit more. Let's try 85, um, 80. Let's take a look at it from underneath. Looks OK that way. That'll work. Now we want to make a tower. So I'm going to pull a wall from here up. And let's extend this up to about 6. And we'll do this. Then this looks like it's going to be about a meter less in width. So let's try that. That's two meters. So eight. Put this one at eight. Then we should be able to copy these and rotate them. And that gives us our tower then actually I'm going to set these two at 9. And then we'll take probably one of these, move it over here. Let me see. Let's grab this. I'll copy this. We'll paste it. And then all we have to do is move it up. And adjust it if it needs it. Looks pretty good to me. There we go. And tapers. Then we're going to pull it up so it's got a higher roof. Something like five, maybe? Then I'll put windows in each one of these walls. Now I could copy this and put it up here. That would be a continuing element. Let's try it. We'll copy it. We'll just link this together so it's easier to work with. Make sure I've got everything. Nope. Take this out. There we go copy that and what we'll do is we'll copy one of these two I guess I didn't think I was going to need it but I want let me think 
let's draw this over first and have a look. First of all, let's see what the center is. It's 32. So we know this needs to be 32. So we'll just grab this and move it over 32. Move it in. Uh, what is the other direction, the Y? This is 1575. So we just move this to 1575. We know it's going to be centered. Got to move in a little bit closer. There we go. And we can center it to the Z as well by doing this. But I don't want it to be centered. I want it to have two of them. I want two. So 2757675. I'll just drop, drop this down, bring it up, take this and put it in the middle. I've already forgotten what the uh, Y is, 1575. So 15.75. Bring it in. Thirty-two. Bring it down. What we want to do is adjust our windows to be in the middle. Let me look. That looks good. So we'll grab three of these. Um, Twenty-seven fifty-seven six seven five. Got to get closer. Okay, so that should be where we need to be, and then we just need to frame it. So I'm going to grab this. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's make sure it's right. There we go. One more. There we go. Shift drag this. Um, and then just all we have to do is line it up with the outside and it should be good. Then all we need to do is copy this down and adjust this down. Make it down here so I can see. I was looking over here. It was barely visible, that gap. Then we just move this up and put it in line with this right here. Now we have a window section that we can copy. Just select everything holding shift. Then we can pull one back here. Let's just link this together to make it fast. And this one is sitting at 7.25, so we'll delete it. Move this to 7.25. There we go. And we'll just delete these two. We'll need these, actually, so let's move them out of the way. I think we'll need them. Let's see. Let's take these two, or this one. This one's not linked. So let's link this real quick. And then we'll take these, copy them, rotate them. And then what we'll do is add an accent to this by putting a let me look here we'll do this we'll do one by one then we'll drag this into place like that and it is not quite there look 
down here. Got an overlap? Yes. Okay, so I'm glad I did that because now I found that. I'll just delete this one, copy this. Is this thing rotated? It's rotated. Isn't it? What's the deal with that? Is it tapered? Let me unlink it. It's not tapered. Why is it rotated? Yeah, it was rotated. Unbelievable. All right, let's do this. Let's get this out of the way and fix this. Um, let's look at the other ones, too. Actually, we don't even need that, I don't think. That's right. Let's unlink all this. That one's unlinked. Okay, so I guess we did need that. The whole thing's rotated. How in the world did that happen? Boy. Just goes to show you, you just never know. <laughs> I, don't, I wonder if you noticed before I did. Boy, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's do this. Let's, um, let's get rid of these for now. These two are rotated correctly. Let's get rid of these real quick. Select all this crap. Make sure we don't have something over here selected. Move this out of the way. Whoop. The other direction. That's good enough. We'll delete those. Delete that. Boy, what a mess. And this guy needs to be moved in. One of them needs to be moved. Anyway, let's select these. Select those and deselect these. And the way to tell whether you have everything deselected is where your mouse thing is. See, I have these selected now. That should put us back over here. Okay, what else do I have selected? Wow. All right, let's start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure this is all of it, and it, I, it's not. I need to grab this guy right here. There we go. Link it. Do the same thing over here, and try not to rotate it this time.
there. That should be everything. Let's try this again. Now we've got overlap, I believe. Let's look. Yes. So I need to adjust a few of these. There. Much better. Now, the only problem with this is that we can't see the windows because of this here, but I don't want to take this out. So what we're going to do is lift all of this up. So I'll grab the four sides. Actually, I need to turn edit linked off. And we'll grab the roof and we'll extend it up. We'll bring it up. Oh, did I miss one? What did I miss? Did I miss this one? This is not part of the link set. Link that. Like that. Let's check all of them. That one looks good. That one looks good. That's good. Okay. We'll just extend it up a little bit. I'm going to do this separate from the roof because I think the roof is slightly off. So I'm just going to raise it to where I can see over the roof. Let's go a little higher because you're going to be standing on the ground. So I'll raise it up to something like that. And then we'll take, and since this is a hole anyway, we're going to extend it up. Let's look at it. And what we'll do is bring it down slightly. And we'll do a taper. Copy this. We've got a little bit of an overlap there. This might be it right here. That's what's causing it. There we go. Okay, so this one's going to be tapered inward. from here. Make sure that that's good and it's not. I need to bring it up slightly. There we go. Let me look at this and make sure. Let's set it at 2 and adjust it. And look at the size too. The size looks good. Let's adjust this this way. Still getting an overlap. There we go. What about the this up here? Wow. There we go. Okay, taper. Um, 
That's way too much. 0.1 by 0.1. Wow, look at that. Exactly what I was looking for. Then I can raise this up. Well, there's one problem. Somehow I forgot this prim. We'll link that in with this. Okay, so there's our tower. Now we could do smaller towers here, but it might take away from the whole build. Oh, there's one. Is this, this is a leftover maybe, I don't know. Let me look. Oh, I see something. Look at that. There we go. Let's check the other one. Ooh, we are all out of whack. How did that happen? How did any of this happen? I must be grabbing something when I'm grabbing something else and making a mess. All right, let's take a look at this one. Let's, let's go back and start over. We'll take this one. This one is okay except for the top. No, it's not okay. Let's delete it. This one is most definitely messed up. This one, we'll delete that. Grab this one and this one. Actually, let's fix it first before we do anything. Sometimes you run into this stuff where you make mistakes and you have to correct it. And I'm leaving this in the video so you can learn from it because um, it happens. All right, let's just pull this down like that. Somehow got all messed up. Okay, now I think I've got it right. Let's fix the other side. Let me look at this. And my windows aren't right either. Okay, so I need to adjust that. Let's look at the top and bottom. Top and bottom are okay. I just need to adjust the windows a little bit. So we'll go 4.625. Uh, let's go 6.5. There we go. So I'll, I'll just copy this, paste it into the rest of them. Paste. Did it work? Did it not paste? No, it worked. Okay, let's fix this. All right, hopefully that's fixed. Let's move these out of the way. Everything looks good. We'll shift drag, control Z, rotate, adjust, we'll edit linked. That looks good. Make sure that looks good, and it is. Okay.
There we go. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> let's copy this whole thing and see what it looks like on these. So we'll take and select it from up here. And we'll grab this too. Shift drag. Why are you let me cut? Oh, I got edit linked on there. Shift drag. And it's going to be bigger than the base here, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get rid of these. And let's place these there instead. I'll just link this whole thing together to make it simple. Get up here so I'm not selecting my fence. Control L. There we go. Let's see if it'll match up. Actually, I don't, I'm not sad about that. I like that. Let's move it in a little bit. Let's look at it. Yeah, I'm not sad about that. I'm talking about the front where it overhangs, but I know I'm going to have to adjust it to make it look right. I think. No, it's not possible. So I think what I'm going to have to do is bring... Well, I can't do that either because it's in line. I can't just bring that out. It won't look right. I'll just leave it like it is. So that looks pretty nice. Let's have a look at scale and see what it feels like. It's not too big. The entrance isn't too big. The ceiling slightly low. I've got an issue here. Let's see where we're at with this compared to say this 25 how is it 0.25 off oh it's because I had to um, move it in to go over this um, extra wall I think let me look Nope, that's not it. Let's do this. Let's delete these for now and move this back into place. And what we'll do is check it here. It's not quite right. Probably because it's sitting up. Let's go into subunit snapping. Okay, we're running into an issue where we're too far away to be able to adjust it, and we can't watch this while we're adjusting it. So let's drop it down like that, and that fixes it. So we'll take this one and drop it down. And that allows us to do something with the front that's going to be different. Let's make this front flat instead of another triangular roof. So we'll pull this in to about a nine. Be 
it's got to come down. There we go. Now let's look at it from the inside again. We've got this, which needs to come up a little bit. What is our problem? This guy right here. It's still not right with these corners. Let's look over here. It's not right with that either. Set it for zero. Let me look at the height. The height is 375. Let's go 37. Then we'll adjust it up. There it's even. Now let's look at it from the top here where it matches up with this. I don't think this is going to match up. Let's try it. Well, actually, here's here's another problem. Let's go back down. Get that flush, and that still puts us at 0 0.050. So that's because of the size. So let's adjust the size down. Just bring it up and see what happens. Too much. What about this? It's sitting at 225. Let's drag this up. Oh, there's one problem. Let's have a look from underneath again. Now the only thing is, I think this is going to be slightly taller than the other ones. What's it sitting at? 10, 10.6, 10, 10. Point, oh, I guess it's the same. Okay, good. So that looks better to me. And then what we can do is take and put a sign up here to make it look complete. So I'll grab, I'll just grab this one since it's already centered and I'll just take the hollow out of it and thin it a little bit. We'll give it like 0.2. Then we'll, let's do it, let's do it this way. We'll make it We'll do a 16 by 9. So 1.6 by 0.9. And then what we'll do that's not right. Well, that might be why. I was like, well, it's not it's not aspect ratio. <laughs> it's the cut. <sighs> okay, so we'll take that. We need the center here, which is or actually uh, 32 to be exact. And that's off by one. Let me look at that. Yeah, that's off. Let's put 
put that on 32 that's what it's supposed to be on let's adjust this let's look at the width of this which is um, 1725 yeah that was off so there we had another problem okay so 32 is the width or not the width the um, the alignment so what I want to do is pull this out make it bigger right thin it down to 2 again or 1 or 2 yeah just 2 and then we'll bring it over to 32 and then we'll look and see if it's if we want to uh, put it in front of the building slightly like that maybe attach it to the building there's our sign and here we've got another issue what is the size of this one compared to this one five and f five yeah here's the problem Wow. Three, four, five. That's the same. That's the same. What's the distance between these two? 8.05. Something ain't right, mister. Let's look at this again. Now we still got that lip. Let's look on this side. We got a lip. Oh boy. <sighs> Keep adjusting until we get it. Let's look from the top. You still got a gap in there. Such is life with Second Life. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. There are probably issues still in the build, but for the most part, I think it's good. So yeah, there it is. Um, if I was going to do anything, I might raise it a little bit, the roof or the ceiling, so that it's not so low. But really, if you think about it, aside from your camera angle, it's not that bad. Then we can fly up here and see out the windows. Something that I neglected to, to notice was that <laughs> these are sticking underneath the platform and haven't been adjusted. I've neglected to adjust those back up. Um, so it's just a matter of adjusting the size of those back up to where they work, and then that's fixed. So I just wanted to point that out, that if that was nagging you 
the whole time we were watching the video that I had never adjusted these. I apologize. <laughs> That's what happens when you build. It's it's real life. Um, or a real second life, I guess. Hopefully you can see that the build method I use is somewhat practical. And maybe you can apply it to your own build style. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.